previously on Homefront. Do you want this spermicide delivered? What? He doesn't know, does he? There's no way on God's green earth you can get pregnant. Done. Oh, oh Pete, this little jealous liar. She hates me because she married me. How much more ready can you get? You grow up, you get married, and you're ready to have children. When we can afford to. It doesn't cost anything to make babies. But once they're born... Hey, I've got a job. And we're barely getting by. How long do we have to wait till we can do it again? Let's go to the movies sometime. The movies all you had in mind? I swear, just the movies, the whole movies, and nothing but the movies, so help me God. I'll go to the movies with you, so long as you understand that what, what happened last night will never happen again until after I'm married. And you want to withdraw the invitation? No. There's a new Robert Taylor movie showing at the Crichton. We can make the late show after my shift. Um, I've already seen it. So? You saw his last movie six times. Did I? Is anything wrong? No. no. Thank well, you. We could go do something else. I can't. I'm, I'm busy tonight. Ginger, you won't believe it. They sent free samples of coordinating nail polish. You pick first. I don't want any. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? I'm sure. What are you busy doing tonight? That's my business. When can we go out? I don't know. How can you not know? If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Because if I knew when, I'd say when, wouldn't I? I'm going to stock these later. I have some paperwork to do. Are you sore at me? No. You sound like you're giving me the brush off. Well, if I sound, if I sound like that, then maybe I am. What? Do I have to paint a picture for you, Jeff? It's not because I'm two years younger, is it? No. Or because I'm a ball player and you hate sports? No. Or because I don't like Robert Taylor? Yes. It's because I don't like Robert Taylor. It's because of all those things put together and not liking Robert Taylor is very important because it's the tip of the iceberg of not having anything in common. Every moment we spend together is a moment wasted because we have no future. I don't buy that. You have to buy it. I've made up my mind. Just like that? Just like that. I don't have any say. You can say goodbye. Is there something wrong with Ginger? I'll say. <laughs> to act sense you ate the positive eliminate the negative and latch on to be affirmative don't mess with mister in between you gotta spread joy up to the maximum bring gloom down to the minimum have faith or pandemonium liable to walk upon the scene to illustrate my last remark Don't in the way, no way in beyond What do they do just when everything looks so dark? Ma'am, they said you got to accept But you ain't the positive healing Mine ain't the negative and last on To the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Hi, Charlie. I need some liniment for my wrist. I was lifting rods over the factory. I think I pulled something. I don't see any. I'm going to check in the back. Hi, Ginger. May I help you? Miss Metcalf is. Thanks. How have you been? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. 
Is anything wrong? Yes. I'm sick to death of people asking me if anything's wrong. Jenny. Don't, don't you dare call me Jenny. You lousy two-timer. This is all your fault. My fault? If we'd gotten married like you promised, this would be your baby instead of somebody else's. Baby? Hey, Charlie. Well, that's what you were bragging about at the bachelor party, huh? What? Ginger. I didn't say anything about Ginger at the bachelor party. He must have been bragging about some other woman. As I recall, you didn't believe a thing I had said. I do now. Now I may scramble you. Shove off, Charlie. If I want to date Ginger, that's my business. She was a virgin for Pete's sake. Who said she's not? You think she's some kind of cheap dame? I think Ginger's none of your damn business. None of my damn business? You dumped her. You're out of the picture. I'm not out of the picture yet. You're gonna do right by her. What is that supposed to mean? You're gonna marry her. That's no reason to get married. I've heard some low stuff in my life. If I could give that baby a name, I would, but I can't. But you're going to, Mr. Baby. I didn't want you to know. Are you sure? I'm two weeks late. I've never been late in my life. We only did it once. That's all it takes, or, or haven't you heard? Besides, it was twice. Same night, but it was twice. I should have said no the first time, let alone the second. I'm not only a tramp, I'm a pregnant tramp. You're not a tramp, and you're... Maybe you're not. Anticipating a blessed event? <laughs> so what are we gonna do? We're not gonna do anything. I'm... I'm moving away. Ginger. No, I am. I've had two whole weeks to think about it, and I decided that the best course of action is to move to another town, change my name and start over. Say my husband was killed in the war. Ginger. I'll work in a drugstore till the baby comes and, and, and then I'll work out of my apartment so I can take care of it. It's fine, because I can, I can sew pretty well. And... Don't you think I should have some say in the matter? No. Well, maybe I want to take in sewing. I know how to sew. <laughs> Anyways, this is something we have to face together. Have you talked to a doctor yet? No, I can't go to my regular doctor. He treats half the city. Then we'll go to another one. Don't worry, it'll be all right. <laughs> Says you. 